Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand IPv4 address space. So the concept of the basic concepts of IPv uh, uh, IP address has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Let's try to understand what is IPv4 address space v stands for version so this uh, address space is th this address space is, is for ipv4 version 4 so an address space what is meant by an address space address space is the total number of addresses used by the protocol as we have discussed it, that the size of the ipv4 address is 32 bit so address space means the total number of addresses that are possible with ipv4 version so that is what we call it as address space for example if you take 32 bits 32 bits how many unique numbers are possible the, the unique numbers that are possible are 2 power 32 this is the number of so these are the these are these many number of unique ip addresses are possible with ipv4 version which means it is uh, more than 4 billion ip addresses unique ip addresses are possible with with version 4 address spaces so uh, hope you know this uh, the logic behind this 2 power 32 is this is how the things are going to be so let's try to understand this simply by using an example so uh, this uh, digital uh, number systems for example if you have two bits for example if you have two bits how many unique uh, combinations of these two bits are possible uh, two bits means we have only zeros and ones with zero or one in this space how many unique addresses are possible so only two bits are to be there and those two bits should be either zero or one okay so in that way how many different unique numbers are possible with these uh, two bit space how many are possible it is zero zero or the other combination is zero one or the other combination is 10 zero, 10 zero, and the other combination is 11 so four addresses are possible with two spaces with two address spaces with two spaces there we can give either 0 or 1 with two spaces the number of possible the number of possible unique addresses are 2 power 2 which is equal to 4 in the same way with 32 spaces assume this as 32 spaces how many unique values are possible the unique values possible are 2 power 32 which is this is the number so how they can be represented see here all these zeros are 32 zeros so uh, how those unique numbers are represented all those unique numbers are represented are 32 zeros so this is for one ip address which is zero in decimal it is zero okay similarly if you take this this is one see here last bit is one so in decimal it is one so on for example if you take the next ip address this is one ip address this is another ip address and the next ip address is uh, sorry it is one zero it is two next ip address is one one so the remaining bits are zeros visualize the content okay so the next this ip address is going to be three this is how the ip addresses are for 30 by using 32 bits for example if you take the last ip address possible which is all ones with all ones the last ip address is possible is this is the last ip address means uh, 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 from zero to this number these many number of ip addresses are possible okay so these many number of systems uh, can be given the addresses unique addresses okay but but this kind of visualization is very difficult see here uh, for example if there is a uh, uh, 32 bits in between uh, 
so these are very simple 0 and 1 it is very simple but if there are bits in between 1s and 0s combination of 1s and 0s so that number uh, identifying that number remembering that number is uh, very difficult to understand is very difficult to remember so there is the, a, a simple mechanism is used for the better uh, visualization of the IP addresses that we will try to understand see here how that can be represented <coughs> with 32 bits see here this is how this is how the IP addresses are represented see here what they have done is these 32 bits are divided into four groups with eight bits each each group will have eight bits and those eight bits can be uniquely identified so let's try to understand this using this example here uh, 32 bit number has been taken 32 bit number has been taken but at this point this is how the notations are done so uh, 8 bits we have grouped into four groups we have made this entire 32 bits into four groups which consists of each group consists of eight bits okay so now we will take the decimal value so this is how the notations can be done this is binary notation and ip address can be notated either in binary either in binary or in decimal or in hexadecimal this is how generally we will see the ip addresses in practice in real world okay most of the times the notation is decimal notation so in some cases we may see hexadecimal or in some cases we may see binary notation but the the division the point is the point here is that 32 bit address how the 32 bit address is getting divided that is very important to understand into eight bit groups means four groups is there and the decimal value for this is 128 and the decimal value for this is 3 and uh, the decimal value for this is 12 and similarly if you take this this is 31 so this 32 bit ip addresses in decimal it is represented as we are going to separate it by using a dot operator dot dot by using a dot it is not an operator 128.3.12.31 see here remembering that big number uh, and it is replaced with a beautiful number it is 128 what is your ip address what is your uh, connections ip address if someone asks, means you cannot say that big uh, uh, nine digit number you may not be able to remember that so for simplicity we have divided that uh, 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 the things are divided into chunks into groups of eight bits for example if anybody asks for your ip addresses just simply say that 128.3.12.31 and similarly that notation can also be done by using hexadecimal number so the uh, hexadecimal value for 128 is 80 03 0c and 1f in our course we don't consider this 32 bit uh, uh, binary notation or this uh, hexadecimal notation most of the cases we will use this decimal notation this is how the ip addresses are represented in for uh, uh, the logical uh, for the connection okay so this is how the ip addresses are represented okay hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching